Hey everyone, I'm Dan Spada, and in today's video, I'm going to show you all the new updates to Google Meet Breakout Rooms, including the addition of an Ask for Help button, a timer, and more. There is no doubt that since Google Meet has introduced breakout rooms that they've been a huge hit with teachers and students. And now Google has their first major updates to the breakout rooms. They've added a timer, an ask for help button, and it now supports more participants. So we're gonna go through what all those new updates look like. So now you can set a timer that will close the breakout rooms at a certain amount of time. So just click on the box, decide how long you want the breakout rooms to be open for. And again, you can just adjust this to however long you want, then click OK. You can put your students in the breakout rooms, open the rooms, and then you'll have a timer at the top of your screen, and the students will see a very similar timer that lets them know how long they have left. And at any point, you can go in and change the timer. So if you decide that you don't need as long as you thought, or if you need more time, you can just click on timer, set a new time, click OK, hit save, and then you'll see it will change for you and it will also change for the students. When it gets to under 30 seconds, your timer will turn red and the students also have a timer at the top that turns red and lets them know that the breakout room is ending and it gives them the countdown. And then once the timer has ended, the students will get a message that says breakout room has ended and they have to click return to the main call. Another new feature is when students are in breakout rooms, they'll have a button at the top that allows them to ask for help. And if they click ask for help, it lets them know that they've asked for help and they can cancel the help request at any time. So when a student asks for help, the teacher will see a little pop-up that lets them know what student asked for help and what breakout room they were in. They can then click either later or join, or if they miss the pop-up when they go into their breakout rooms, they'll see in their list of breakout rooms which students have asked for help and when they actually asked for help. And then they can just click on and go into join. And then they can help that student. And then when they look at the list, they can see what other students still need help. And just like before, when you're done, if you want to close out the rooms before the timer, if you have a timer, you can just click close rooms and close all rooms. And then they'll get a timer letting everybody know that the breakout rooms will be closing, or you can just click close rooms again to close them all immediately. And another update that Google has added to the breakout rooms is now you can take the dial-in phone participants and assign them to breakout rooms as well. And in two weeks, anonymous users will also be able to be added to breakout rooms. All these features will be available by default, and they should be available now for all users according to the Google blog. Uh, these are available to Workplace Essentials, Business Standard, Business Plus, Enterprise Essentials, Enterprise Standard, Enterprise Plus, as well as G Suite Business and Enterprise for Education customers. It is still not available for Workplace Business Starter, as well as the G Suite Basic, Education, and Nonprofit customers. So this first round of updates to breakout rooms are really intended to give teachers more control and another way to organize their breakout rooms. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to share it with other teachers and make sure you check out the description below for more Google Meet tutorials. And if you haven't already subscribed to the EdTech Show, please take a second, click on that subscribe button and click on the notification bell so that you get notified every time there's a new video. And if you haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please take a second and follow me at Dan Spada and on Facebook at facebook.com slash the EdTech Show. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.